Let's set the scene here. Picture this kid just innocently surfing the web, full of hope and curiosity. Then whoosh, he suddenly gets swept into this wild online world, where it feels like everyone is just looking out for themselves, and where the number of likes is what matters most. Suddenly. He's feeling less sure of himself, less connected to real life, and more doubtful about everything. It's like the line between reality and social media burst, and he's caught right in the middle of it. Let's get real for a moment. You know how everything is online these days, right? Well, innocence seems to get tangled up in the mix too. Imagine. Just trying to stay grounded in a world where everything is just a click away. That's the challenge we're up against as we strive to preserve what is pure amidst all this digital chaos. What would the internet look like if humanity only had pure intention? Think about the simple pleasure of a child discovering educational video. Or a new interest, or a non-profit organization reaching out to distant communities, giving hope and charity to the less fortunate. The internet, at its core, is meant to be a source of knowledge and connection, offering endless possibilities. Turning our attention to internet violence, violence flows through every corner. Of the internet, plain and simple. You can't scroll through social media without encountering something brutal. But it's like we're becoming desensitized to it all, as if it is a normal part of life. But here's the catch: all this online violence is chipping away at our innocence, making us less empathetic and more isolated. So it might sound simple, right? All we have to do is lay down some laws, set some ground rules, and regulate what goes down the world wide web. We could whip up some laws to kick out toxic ideas, squash cyberbullying, and shut down hate speech, and turn the internet into a hub of righteous knowledge with good intention. Even a kid in grade school could see the solution. The digital world has changed everything for kids. It's like a wild, untamed beast that's just taken over, and children are caught in the middle of it. They are being exposed to things that they shouldn't be. They are growing up too fast. It's like their innocence is being stripped away, and we need to do something about it. Unfortunately. Critical thinkers soon realize that crafting sweeping laws is virtually impossible. If we appoint someone to decide what is hate speech versus a minority opinion, we risk missing out groundbreaking perspectives. Furthermore, overregulation shut down society's thinking and could fall under government control. Moreover. Regulating the vast decentralized internet is tough, especially with rapidly emerging technologies. Should we then do nothing? Should we maintain the status quo? I say not. Limiting media exposure and increasing social services for youth are crucial toward protecting their well-being. We need to rethink. How we let younger generation engage with technology, ensuring that they have the space to grow, learn, and play. Although mobile phones and other devices were initially designed as an engagement tool, they can become gateways to a dangerous digital realm that captivates young minds, stealing time from genuine childhood experiences. Let's prioritize the healthy 
and save the development of children by fostering a balanced and mindful approach to technology. Local and global governments and social media administrators have no choice but to enact and enforce legislation laws to combat cyberbullying, hate speech, and online violence, allocating resources for mental health services and initiatives, and promoting a culture of respect and kindness is the bare minimum of what authorities should do. Okay, do me a favor. If you are a parent, teacher, or school administrator, raise your hand. Thank you. I implore you to educate students about responsible online behavior, digital citizenship, and the importance of empathy and respect in virtual interaction. Parents, teachers, and school administrators have to take responsibility for ensuring a balance between digital world and real life experiences. Don't let screen take away our genuine childhood moments. Let's prioritize this way to shape a better future for our children. Finally, make sure to provide support to students who are experiencing cyberbullying and hate speech. This time, students of all ages, raise your hand. Thank you. If you're like me and you spend a lot of time on the internet, spread positivity online, stand up against cyberbullying, think about how your words and action impact others, and use the internet as a platform for kindness and empathy. Let us remember that the young generation have to discover the power within themselves to navigate both pixels and playgrounds. Lastly, let us remember that the digital world holds immense potential for knowledge and connection. Still, it is up to us to ensure that it remains a place where innocence is preserved, violence is condemned, and kindness prevails. Thank you.